Hey there, this is Dustin. I'm part of the Handheld Legend team. I myself am based uh, outside of Chicago a little bit, and we get requests every once in a while of kind of topics to cover. Um, this one is actually coming from Preston and Taylor, who are both on Instagram. They basically ask like nuanced versions of the same question of space management inside of consoles, but then also like wiring. Um, so what was really cool is I just figured we'd be able to cover that in one episode. But it was also another idea was we wanted to talk about like voltage regulators anyways, and people have been asking when to use that, and I see it as a topic pretty frequently. So we'll cover that today. Um, just as an acknowledgement, I want to um, give a shout out to a couple folks here. Uh, Rourke Murdoch over at Rourke's Retro Corner, and then Sean Maxwell, who's uh, SJM4306 on YouTube. Both of them have been incredible technological resources, um, at least to me for like a long time, and I want to make sure they get credit. I'll have some links below for them and how you can like find out more about them. Uh, Sean, by the way, is going to have a article about capacitors uh, coming up that we'll have released. Get into a bit of like, what are they? Why do you, what's going on with them at 30 years old now? And why do you want to replace them? So that'll be good. Look forward to that. Um, when it comes to wiring, what I did is I went ahead and just like cracked open one of the DMGs that's um, in my stock. So I figured I would just like start with that. And I've already unscrewed this and opened it. So you can see here, this is the logic board. And if I pull this out, then we get into a little bit of corrosion there. Like I said, this is just pulled out of stock. We can see here, this is the DC board. So what this does is supply like the, um, the DMG with the voltage it needs and it regulates basically the battery and the AC adapter if you have that. What really is like a best practice here, and I'll talk about this just as it pertains to getting um, voltage from the system, is that you wanna use this. The top pin here is what's called unregulated voltage. The next one is ground. Unregulated means it's not going through this, like the DC like power regulator. And the reason that you wanna do that is that you don't wanna strain this now very old um, and very old capacitors unless you change them, which we highly recommend. Um, it's not made to handle mods, such as like even just a backlight. So you wanna run that off of here, and I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. But if you run the wires from here, and you can see here when we put this daughter, we'll put the, um, the DC board back in. And when we do that, it ends up lining up pretty perfectly with regards to those two points. So on, as you're looking at it right now on the right is unregulated voltage and the one just immediately left of it is ground. And what you can do is literally run wires along this plastic wall, which will end up being behind the battery terminals because those slide in there. And you can come out this other side. So let's pop that back in. And so, yeah, so that fits back in nice and tight. The only thing you want to watch out for is like right here, it is possible to um, get wires caught up right there and pinched. Um, in the worst case, they could end up like, you know, being cut or something like that. But anyways, you just don't want that happening. But the cool thing is when you run your wires there, you end up with this nice big open spot that isn't used, but will use it. Um, we're going to put like the um, voltage regulator inside of here and that would just like give us a consistent 5 voltage. So for example, no matter what's coming, whether it be above or below 5 volts um, over from the battery or the AC adapter, that what a basically a 5 volt step up, step down regulator or what's also called a buck boost will do is it will make sure that like anything plugged into it gets a very steady five volts. Um, and that's exactly what we wanna have happen in like the sense of like a backlight. What's neat though, again, is like we've got this room in here that we can mount things in. Um, I found that 3M VHB or a very high bond um, tape is what works here. They make some stuff that uh, you can find on Amazon. It's really thin and it's made for electronics and it works really well even when, um, if something heats up, it's fine. 
but you can see there's ample space in here. So like, even if it were something like, um, like one of my favorite things to do is like an amplifier board, that'll fit in here nicely. So that's cool. When we're talking about mods on the DMG, it's hard not to think about just like uh, your typical backlighting and things like that. So if I pop this board out here, when you're doing a backlight, you know, you've got the, the little tab with your wires that ends up sitting behind here. And as a reminder, always connect that resistor up when you're cooking up a backlight, unless you know that the backlight already has a resistor built in. Um, if you're not sure, double check. Um, trust me from experience, uh, if you hook up that LED or that backlight, the LEDs are more than likely going to be permanently damaged by not using the resistor. Sometimes you'll be okay, but more, most often not. Back to the wiring though, when you're wiring through, you want to come through here and you've, we've got this convenient gap right there behind the capacitor. And if you feed through, that's going to come through on the back, of course. And what you would want to do in the case of what I'm referring to is just bring your wires and have enough wire to reach back over to this side when the shell is open. That way you don't have to disconnect anything. So that's really, um, again, I just wanted to cover using firstly, and again, this kind of gets into a little bit of electrical, but using like the unregulated voltage here that we can see as the top pin there and the ground which when inserted back into the shell, give us that perfect line of sight that we can wire the, um, the wires right along that plastic wall. Let me pop this back in here. And basically that's gonna come out right through that other corner there and we can mount boards uh, in this area. On the flip side, we've talked about having the, the backlight and the wires come up through here. And again, just give yourself some wire to make sure you can reach back over this way. Cool. Like I said, uh, shout out to Rourke and Sean. Sean's gonna have an upcoming article for us too about capacitors. Um, I got to see a little bit of a preview of it. And by the time you read that, if you're not convinced to recap your systems, you will be. It's uh, There's some weird stuff that can happen. We're gonna have more of these videos coming up. I wanna cover like the Game Boy Advance, of course, the Game Boy Color, um, even the Game Boy Pocket, which I think is probably the most space restricted. So if you would, um, I'm gonna say it, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel or just like keep an eye on Facebook and Instagram. And we're gonna have more of these videos coming up, but we're also just like trying to post something every day throughout the work week. So again, thanks and keep the info coming. Bye.